if you're about to get on a call with us, you're probably wondering, like, who's this gal? Who's this chick? Um, maybe you have been following me on social media for a while, or maybe this is your first time ever seeing my face, and you're wondering if you can trust me. In about three minutes, I'm going to give you a snapshot of my life who I am and how I ended up here. So it should be a pretty interesting video. It's going to be really critical for you to know before we get on the call because I'm not 80 years old. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I am a younger woman. So you might have some questions. I'm open-minded, very direct, transparent. I love learning. I love creating something out of nothing. And I'm also fun. I love to laugh and I like to make jokes. And I'm a little strange. I put salt in my red wine, I eat peanut butter with a spoon, and as you can see, I sometimes go outside with no shoes on. So we just need to make sure that we are the right fit. Maybe you are going to watch this video and think, this is not a person I want to work with. She is just entirely too charming and attractive, and I cannot stand to be around her all the time. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, humility is a thing that I also have. Um, so who is this chick? Who is this gal you're about to get on the phone with? Well, I'm a Jamaican-born U.S. immigrant. Uh, life was good in Jamaica. I didn't want to leave. Not really. I had a family that provided a really great life for me. I was someone who attended one of the most coveted high schools in the island and really enjoyed my childhood and did all the shenanigans with my friends. Here is me writing down the lyrics to one of the many songs we would write in between classes while one of my other friend mauls the other. Why? I'm not really, really sure why that's happening, but a whole host of strange things happen around me. And as you can see, I just stay focused on what my task is. So again, who's this gal? Jamaican born immigrant and the boys them sugar. Now, if you have no idea what that reference is, please Google Beanie Man, the girls, them sugar. You're, you're going to thank me later, I promise. So I moved to America, went to college, and did all the things. I went to football games, joined the sorority, and became the chapter president, became an elected member of student government, and I was the event coordinator for the Business and Professional Women's Scholarship House, where I basically paid $100 a month for rent because I was a scholarship recipient. Much to my mother's distress, demise, whatever she wants to call it right now, I majored in art. The running joke with her is that she sent her child to private school her whole life so she could go to college and learn to draw. The nuances of design, photography, or drawing as a primary part of formal education was lost on her. Like any other Caribbean parent, if I wasn't doing law, medicine, or engineering, it was pointless to her. Thankfully, she lived long enough to get over it. it. Took about 12 years, but it's fine. To help my mother manage her distress, I mean, <laughs> because I had the values of formal education ingrained in me, I went back to college and got my master's in media design. Now, just, just want to check if you're still here with me. So Jamaican-born U.S. immigrant, the boys them sugar, formally trained and educated fine artists, master's degree in media design holder. I joined the workforce and helped build brands like HBO's Game of Thrones, True Blood, Clear Channel Media Group, Micromatic, Sheridan, Coachella Music Festival, Under Armour, Harry Belafonte, Sankofa, Open English, Incom, New Point Media. I mean, a whole host of brands, but I struggled. I struggled to keep a full-time gig for more than two years at a time. Not because my bosses didn't love me or because I didn't do a kick-ass job for these corporations. It was just the nature of the marketing industry. Who truly needed an expensive in-house team when they could outsource to agencies on demand without having to deal with the HR issues? That's when it clicked for me. I need to be the agency they outsource to, not the employee. So again, Jamaican-born U.S. immigrant, the boys them sugar. Formerly trained fine artist, master's degree holder, struggled to find a clear path to success, even while developing, you know, brands for multi-million dollar companies. So this led me to 
a, a completely different place while I'm discovering this new path. I encountered all kinds of struggles as like a solopreneur, including people wanting me to work for peanuts or exposure. As you can see, I even made a whole YouTube video about it. Like seriously, exposure? Like what is that? Can that pay the check when the waiter brings the bill? The video led me to the graphic artist skills. A mentor of mine watched it and said, if this is really how you feel, you need to check them out. I joined their ranks of leadership and am seen by the membership and the design community at large as a thought leader in brand development, design, and business. I have learned so much from this organization, from industry pricing strategies to formulating win-win contracts. I'm now the newly elected member of the national executive leadership. They trust me with the money too, can you imagine? As a leader in the graphic artist guild, I have advocated for other creatives just like myself with local and national leadership. That's Senator Candy showing your girl a little sneaker appreciation. Those sneakers rocked the halls of Capitol Hill and confused the leaders so much, we got our bill passed in the Senate Judiciary Committee with no audible opposition. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm pretty sure it was our sound arguments about protecting hardworking creatives like myself. Um, that work came with even more recognition. I had all kinds of people saying, hey, Unique, you're cool. Like the United States Department of Labor who recognized me as an expert in brand development and design. I mean, as you can tell, none of this happened overnight. I didn't always get it right, but I learned and passed on what I learned to my clients. Anyway, that's a little bit about my background and how I continue to grow as a professional and help my clients grow their businesses. I hope that was really valuable for you. And I really look forward to talking to you soon. Feel free to check out some more of like my videos, maybe some client testimonials. Do a bit of homework on me. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks.